the day of a big snowstorm, you don't even say, good afternoon, how you doing? You just come to see the MR920. Well, here it is. <laughs> what is up, guys? Welcome to the channel, man. Today is an exciting one. I'm excited. I'm excited. Disclaimer, I did peek through this box already. It is what it is. Um, well, I had to at the store, but um, this is the MR920. We're going to go ahead and just go over it, man. Super excited. If you guys are interested in checking out this gun, watch this video, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I know everyone says that. It's just a thing that, that we say on this end of the camera, all right? So go ahead and just, just go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, bro. Uh, let me know what you like about it, what you don't like. But oh, okay, let's go ahead and get into this here. All right, guys. So, you know, I'm not much of a gun reviewer at all. Um, not at all. And that's not what this is. This is just first impressions, man. First impressions, dog. I've been waiting for this. Well, I've been waiting, wanting this gun for a very long time. You know, a couple months. Um, so... You know, we unbox it. I'm not going to do a whole unboxing thing. We'll kind of go over some of the components. But this is the gun, man. This is sick. This is the MR920 Combat. It's not the Elite, but it does have the threaded barrel. Um, there's an Elite version out there that has like a window cut there. And I think that's the only difference. Honestly, I don't know if that's the only difference or if there's more to it. That's besides the point. This is the MR920 Combat with the threaded barrel, man. Super sick gun, man. This thing is light. It feels really good in hand. Oh, man. I, I, I held this, this gun in the store, and I was just excited because I had to verify the VIN, you know what I mean? So, um, held it in store. Super excited. I wanted to go take a shooting right away. But um, this is the gun, man. Check it out. Hoping that the glass picks it up. And by glass, I mean the lens, you know? But um, super sick, man. I mean, this gun is worth it. I actually got this one off of Gun Broker. Um, and again, it's clear. Sorry, I, I know I cleared it, but didn't really mention that it was clear, I guess. Clear. Look at that. Fluted barrel. Look at that, man. It's just a nice, pretty gun. You know, and I was debating. I was actually debating if I wanted the all black or the signature, you know, shadow systems with the bronze barrel. And this gun looks really nice. I, I wanted the black one, but I showed my wife. And as long as we include our wives in the conversation of guns, they'll allow you to keep getting it. So real quick tip for you guys. If you guys want to keep buying guns, make sure you buy your wife something special like a purse or something like that. That way, whenever you take out your gun and you go shooting or something like that, it's not brought up again. You know what I'm saying? That kind of seals the deal on that one. So just quick tip for you guys. Um, but uh, let me go ahead and put this down real quick what it comes with so you open the box it comes with some screws and a tool this is for the gun this tool right here is to change like the back strap of the gun there's a strap right here that comes off and then um, some tools like uh, like a small torque screwdriver I'm assuming and some bolts to actually bolt in your optic I believe that's what that is I haven't really opened it um, and then as well as a little bit of Loctite so um, this gun again MR920, super sick, feels really good in hand, honestly it does. Um, comes with, I think, two PMAGs. Well, let's, let's go ahead and get this box out the way. Hold on, hold on. Come on, man. Dumped out everything. Okay, so we got the tools on the thing. Go ahead and just tear that off real quick, get this box out the way. That is trash. Don't store your guns in cardboard boxes, guys. Um, it comes with two PMAGs. 15 rounders, sick. Comes with the shadow system sticker. Gotta have the sticker for the little gun cabinet that I put stickers on. Um, little the manual for the shadow systems. Nice bright green cable lock that is like my favorite color, honestly. You know, I'll probably use this for the shed or something. You know what I mean? Like, don't really use them for the guns, really. But um, that's just me. And it comes with this sick little range bag. Pretty sick. I plan to have mine on my waist at all times, but, um, you know, that's here, neither here nor there. It's still a little bad. You can put anything in. You can put some tools in it or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Um, 
And it comes with little straps. What, from what I've seen, it comes, these straps are like for magazines. So it's pretty cool, you know, putting your gun in this bag, you know, taking it down the range like it's a purse or something. <laughs> I'm just playing, man. I know they mean well by giving you this little range bag, but if you're carrying your, your gun like this to the range, you know, um, keep in mind it kind of looks girly. So <laughs> just playing with you guys. Just playing with you guys. I know, I know those old timers are, are notorious for doing that. So I'm just playing... Have your gun safe when you go when you travel with it for sure. Um, all right, it comes with a little bit of gun oil and some back straps for the for the I was gonna call it a Glock 19 <laughs> for the MR920. Um, so I, I'm gonna test it out. I won't do it right now. Uh, a few different back straps, but I this this back strap that I have. So the back strap is basically this one piece, and I'll show you guys in case you're just interested because I know it. If first time you're watching a gun video or something like that, you're like, what is he talking about backstrap? Basically, it looks like this. That's a little backstrap. Um, basically, it would go in, in place of this. So they all have different like dimensions to them where they feel a little different in hand. So you remove it. Although it looks pretty identical, I assure you it's different. This one actually looks thinner than the one that currently is on it. Um, so that's what that is. Again, I'm not gonna fiddle with it too much on camera. But it is there. I hear that it's supposed to give you like a Glock grip, a 1911 grip, and I don't know, something else. But it really is for the different hand sizes. And by no means do I have like big hands or nothing like that. The one it comes with, I don't know if they put that same one on each gun, but it feels actually pretty decent. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess around because I think we could do some fiddling with it and get a better grip on it. Oh yeah, so let's go ahead and talk about the gun. So, um... Here's, here's the thing. So I'm gonna tell you how much I, got, I paid for this and then we're gonna kind of run through all the features on why this gun is worth probably every penny of that. I got this on Gun Broker and I found that at eight, it was 881, but it included shipping. And other places where I would look at the shipping, it was, it was about $35 charge for shipping. So I'm like, okay, cool. Well, it saves me some money because it's free shipping. But 881, I just kind of included that in the price of the, of the gun. I paid 881 for this gun with the free shipping. I think it was 881. It was somewhere like 881, 888, something like that. Um, no, it definitely wasn't 888. I would have remembered that. But um, okay, about eight, about 890. Let's say that. Okay. But again, it's free shipping included. I say shipping was worth about $35. So that's a good deal right there. It's like I got this for 850. Basically, is how I'm thinking about it. But let's go over the features of this gun. So um, the gun has a lot of stippling to it. And I say a lot of, it has stippling where you want it. Okay, so it has stippling up here. Stippling on the grip all over. Nice stippling job too. It's a good, good stippling. It's really nice. Um, right here on, on the, uh, you know, where you would put your finger, finger well, I don't know. And then also has stippling on the back right there of the trigger or the front of it. I don't know. Um, so that right there, stippling job. So if you get it done locally, you're probably looking upwards of $200. And then if you have to mail it out and get like a really nice stippling job, anywhere above 200 bucks, right? So there's that already. $200 for a stippling on your normal, like let's say Glock. You know, let's, let's just kind of compare it to a Glock because that's kind of what this gun is compared to. It's kind of what it is, but not, right? Because it's kind of engineered by a different company that kind of took all the good stuff at a Glock and they applied it towards their own firearm is basically what it is. So we're going to compare it to that. So about $200 for a stippling job on a Glock, just about, but obviously higher if you want a really nice or you want a really nice design or whatever. But like I said, the stippling job right there, 200 bucks. Let's just say that. The slide, okay, we have the front serrations on the slide. Um, and... That's as much as I can say about the slide. Don't know too much about it, but it also has this optic cut right here. So um, this right here, the, just the cut, if you take a Glock without the optic cut, that's gonna run you about $500 to send your slide in. And you know, it may or may not, depending on um, what Glock you have, have the serrations in the front. But um, that optic cut right there is going to cost you about $500 just to get your slide cut. Now, you can get a Glock with the cut already, you know, so there's that. But if you were to get that cut for the optic, again, it's going to cost you about $500. And then again, we have the front serrations in the front. 
I think that right there, this slide right there is worth a good like 500 bucks. You know what I'm saying? Like, so right there, we're already like $700 into the gun. If we were just to get a basic lock, get some stippling on it and get the slide. Again, the gun is clear, just making sure because you, when you see me flag myself, you don't freak out. We have um, night sights on it. So you'll see the back, the back of the sights right there. Let me get close. It's blacked out. That's what you want, blacked out. You know why? Because that front sight is a lot easier to see. They're night sights. They're actually Ameriglow night sights. These sights right there, 200 and above, depending on what sights you go with. These sights are really nice. I think they're also suppressor height sights. So if you do run a suppressor on here, um, you know, they'll go ahead and uh, they'll account for the extra length that that suppressor takes in. So again, those sites about 200 bucks. So already, I mean, you're up there. You're up there in the price, right? And I'm not even gonna keep track of the price. So I'm not the best at math. Now we go with the, the trigger. Um, the trigger is really nice, man. It's, it's smooth. Um, it has a short, a short break. So, I mean, I'm not, not a gun reviewer by any means, guys, but I'm just gonna go ahead and ghost that trigger real quick. Hopefully it's clear. It's pretty short, and then that reset right there. Look at that. So it's it's not bad. Um, I guess the site says. Yeah, I looked at the site like one time when I realized I wanted this gun, and that was about it. I think it's four and a half pounds or something like that. Um, but obviously, that's gonna break through. I'm over here getting text message while on video here. How rude for people to interrupt me, whoever that was. Um, but anyway, okay, so triggers even feels a little bit better than a Glock. And I've, I've shot a Glock just a little bit, not a whole lot. Um, but I can tell you that that's a nice trigger right there. That's not like a stock trigger you'd find on most guns. That's This whole gun is basically kind of like, you know, just they pick the best trigger. They pick the best sights. Um, they make their own slides and, you know, frames and things like that, of course. But, um, you know, they're not just stuck with using just their own items. I, I don't know if that trigger is theirs. It might, it might be. But it's, it's a really nice trigger. Um, as well as you have the undercut right there for, um, you know, finger placement and things like that. So, overall, guys, this gun, if you're looking to buy a Glock 19, which I was looking to buy, I'm like, no, I want something really reliable. I want something that I could last, and, and most importantly, I wanted to put a dot on, on my, my um, on a pistol, right? And my current everyday carry, I'm not, I don't have that chance, I don't have the chance of getting a slide cut or nothing like that. It's kind of just, as I have it, that's what I'm using. But as I train more and things like that, I want to get more proficient, um, you know, just with my draws and things like that. It's, it's more becoming more of a sport than anything else for me. So, um... Definitely, I'm, I'm working on drills and things like that, but um, I wanted that red dot, right? And I was thinking, I'm like, okay, so I'll go ahead and get a Glock 19 with the MOS optic cut, right? So with the, with the cut for the optic, you know, but when you start looking at all the things that this offers, all the features that you have with this, I mean, it just, it's like a no-brainer, basically. Like I said, 850 but if you buy a Glock and you get all these things done to it, on top of the price of a Glock, which today it was... Um, at the local store was seven or six. It's below six hundred, five ninety-seven, something like this. About six hundred bucks. You know what I mean? But it also doesn't come with the stippling. It comes with basic Glock. So you know, and again, this is not bashing on any other gun or nothing like that. It's just more or less what I was thinking about as a consumer. I was thinking about purchasing the Glock nineteen, um, but just with all the features that this comes with. It was a no-brainer for me. I just love the feel of this gun. It's super light. Obviously, I have no mag or ammo in it. I have no ammo at all. No, I'm playing. I got, I got a little bit of ammo. I got snap caps. We'll, we'll just work with snap caps. No, but, um, you know, but obviously, I mean, this gun is just light. This gun is light and it's nice. It's sick, man. Um, and I am going to go ahead and pair it with the Hollow Sun that I've got today as well. I mean, every time I go to the gun store, it's a great day for me. i um, got the, the Hollow Sun 507C red dot. I'm going to go ahead and mount that boy on there. Um, and then again, we have the threaded barrel. Um, now this, let me see. 
I don't know. This says do not use with the suppressor. I'm thinking of the ring. Oh, okay. Okay. So it, yeah. All right. So yeah. Now in mind, I don't know, you know, I don't, I'm, I don't have in mind to suppress my handgun or pistol, you know, whatever you want to call it at this time. I don't, but can it change down the line? Absolutely. And the whole purpose of getting this gun was to have something that, you know, a little bit of change, like a red dot, having been shooting with the red dot on a handgun. So, um, that's what I wanted. And then, like I said, this threaded barrel gives me gives me the opportunity to suppress my weapon at a later time. Like I said, I never thought I would want a red dot on my pistol, but now I do. So I got the gun, so I might, might as well get the threaded barrel because I don't know if I'm going to want one later on. It, if so, I have that option. So I did get the threaded barrel. Um, that, was, that was a big question for me too. Do I need a threaded barrel? Um, and I don't need it right now, but like I said, as a sport, again, it's interesting shooting guns and things like that, having fun out on the range, you know, going through drills, things like that. So why not try to put a suppressor on it later on? Um, again, I didn't hit too much on these night sights. If you're a beginner, you're just watching something like that. Night sights just make it easier to acquisition your target. It stands out a whole lot brighter and in the dark, um, cause it'll actually glow in the dark. Then um you know standard sights that come on a pistol we're clear guys but like the standard sights would be something like that just like little white dots that are kind of there you could pick them up and as long as you train you can pick them up quick but at night you, you stand no chance of picking those sights up that's why you get a light um for your optic as well all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put this, that, that gun, I just brought it out just to show the night size different, things like that. Um, like I said, I'm going to pair it with this Red Dot Hollow Sun. I actually like this company a lot. Um, I have another optic from them. I'm not a big consumer of them, right? I only have two optics, including this one that's still in the box. Um, but I like the fact that they have the shake awake technology, right? Um, just to kind of wake up your gun. You start using the battery as soon as you touch your gun versus just always on or having to actually manually turn it on, right? The whole purpose of like a, you know, a pistol is that you never know when you're going to need it. Like every day carry pistol, right? I carry it every day, you know, so it's cool that the light just isn't on all the time as well as, um, you know, it'll turn on as soon as you, um, you know, pick up the firearm. Now, with that being said, also, it just saves you a whole lot on battery. You know, you don't have to go out and buy a big Costco pack of batteries because you know you're going to leave your optic on all the all the time. And that's why I like the Hollow Sun. Um, don't know if other companies have that, but I, I've just kind of been stuck with them. Um, just like with my light, um, this is kind of just video just kind of went all over the place out of nowhere. But with my light, I'm going to buy another one for the MR920. Um, this light, the reason why I like it so much is just because it's magnetic. Or sorry, it's not magnetic. It is magnetic to a point where it holds the charger on there by magnets. But um, yeah, basically you go ahead and charge it um, and you don't have to worry about purchasing a battery. That's why I like the OL, o, o light lights um, because you're able to go ahead and charge it, you know, recharge it and things like that. So these lights remain super bright. I like them and I'm not like going to combat with them and nothing like that. So I'm not stress testing them at all, but it works out for me. And, that's why I like them, just because I don't have to worry about battery life, things like that. Because I'm just going to charge it later on. Um, if you guys don't know, I do have another video. Like I said, this video is all over the place. I am actually giving away this thing right here. It's the angled foregrip um, from Magpul. Okay, this is actually a giveaway, guys. A lot of people don't think that I'm actually giving this away. But this is actually going to somebody. Um, so go watch that video. 300... I forgot what I forgot. I think 300 views. As long as you comment in the comments on that video, the squirt gun emoji, you're entered to win this. Once we get 300 views, I'm gonna live stream it. That way you guys can see the results. But again, this is, I mean, you could just, even if you don't have a gun, you can give this to your dad. You can give this to your buddy. You know what I mean? Things like that. Like, oh yeah, I won it off of a free giveaway on a YouTube channel that no one watches. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and ch check out that video. I'm giving it away. Reason being is because I actually, I actually bought it um, for my Galil Ace pistol, but um, the rail was actually 
so short in the front that it doesn't fit. That's why I'm giving it away. So it's a legit giveaway. I actually needed something like this hand stop for my Galil. So I went out and bought this again. Like I said, every day I go to the gun store. It's just, it's just a really great day, man. But I appreciate you guys watching. Um, but that's really all I have for you guys. Thanks. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later. Take care. Peace.